Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good evening or day or wherever, it, whatever time it might be where you are. I hope you're enjoying yourself or settling down to relax for the day. Um, my name is Anna. I am a maker and I live in Seattle, Washington. Uh, and today I wanted to talk to you about some of the maker or the pattern, some of my favorite pattern designers that I think deserve a little bit more love in the knitting world. Some underrated, underrated designers, if you will. These are 10 designers that um, have some beautiful designs, but maybe not as many followers as like, or not, or I just don't see their patterns talked about as much as Petite Knit and My Favorite Things Knitwear and Andrea Mowry, um, sorry, Nordland, just some smaller people that are a little bit more, that I think deserve a little bit more credit than they get, that make beautiful knitwear that fit really well with the knitwear that I like and that I think more of you should take a look at as well. So like I said, I have 10 designers here to talk to you about today um, of varying styles and I'll recommend some of the designs that I think that I really like that I have in my Ravelry favorites of theirs and just kind of like what their design aesthetic is and I will put pictures here for you as well to see. But yeah, that's the goal of today's video is just to maybe broaden your horizons a little bit. So that's what we're gonna talk about. So I wanna start from like the smallest knitter and then go up to like slightly more well-known and I'm doing I ranked these like by the number of followers that they have on Instagram which I know is not the be all end all but it's kind of an easy way to look at the metrics of a or just see how many people are aware of these designers so the first person I want to talk to you about is Cookie the Knitter um, this person has 8,000 followers on Instagram and has 13 designs currently published on Ravelry I would say her design style is very youthful and kind of classic. Lots of like simple silhouettes, but very like tailored and put together. Um, some of the designs of hers that I really like, I think the Gemma Polo is at the top of my list. It's, it's gorgeous. And I have a friend um, in real life that we send patterns back and forth to each other on Ravelry all the time. And I think we've both sent this one back and forth to each other a couple times because it's so pretty just like a perfect like rugby stripe polo shirt with like a Henley and collar. It's very refined and really pretty. Um, her semplice blouse is really beautiful, kind of similar to the My Favorite Things Knitwear um, sweater number one, like a very voluminous sleeve and like a simple body. And then the Umbria collar shirt is another collared shirt, which I think are really trendy right now and like very stylish, not only now, but all the time. They're like updated, trendy, kind of modern classics. I don't know what to call them, but it's beautiful. It's got this really cool texture on it. Um, and she also has a summer version as well, which is really fun. So that's Cookie the Knitter, some really beautiful, classic, but fresh and youthful designs. Um, the next person I wanna talk about is Albiona McLaughlin. Um, she has 8.1 thousand followers on Instagram and 74 designs. She has a huge back catalog of designs. And I would say Albiona's design are more like traditional and rustic um, and almost like folk-like a little bit. Her, the photographs that she uses are a little bit darker and they just feel like a little bit more cozy, a little bit more like substantial, I would say. And not in like a heavy way, but just like a really like long lasting, well thought through, um, functional piece that's also really beautiful. Um, she has this vest called the Gan that's very classic, but it has this really interesting wide collar. Um, her Harvest Season Shawl, and there's also a cardigan with the same stitch pattern that she published actually quite recently, that is so simple, but so interesting. Like the lace pattern on it is really cool and seems like it would be really fun to knit, but also just like a beautiful piece. And then her Yadiwa, I, I don't know if I'm saying this right, I would say Yadiwa um, is this colorwork sweater that I've really been, it's had, I've had in my favorites for a long time. I love the colors that she chose in her sample and I like the colorwork motif. It's like kind of traditional, but with something a little different in it. I really, really like this design. I think it's gorgeous again and kind of like folk-like in like a, it's almost like it could have been made 200 years ago or today and it's like the same kind of timeless like traditional classic i don't know how to describe it but it's beautiful she's irish and i feel like i can see that kind of cultural influence in her designs and i just really really like her work 
Um, Kat from Heather and Hobbs has made several patterns of Albiona, so if you want to see some of those in action, you can go back and check Kat's videos, but she has so many beautiful patterns that I really was so surprised to see that she doesn't have as many followers on Instagram because she's done some really incredible work. Um, the next one I want to talk about is Selena Dyring, who is also her handle on Instagram and on Ravelry is Knits for Days DK. She has 12.7 thousand followers and 23 designs. And I would say that her designs remind me a lot of Knitting for Olive or My Favorite Things Knitwear. They're very timeless, but they're feminine in a really pretty way. I love the summer shirt design that she has, the Ophelia blouse, which has this like beautiful collar um, that's got like ruffles and these beautiful details on the um, on the cuffs. It's almost a lot like August Augustine's. Um, I think they have a similar aesthetic. And then her Rose of Lavender sweater is just like a very simple silhouette with this interesting texture. Not too di dissimilar from the Aosta sweater from um, the Knit Pearl Girl. That same kind of like all over texture, but done in a very like, not pulled back, but just like refined way. Really like her patterns as well. She has some really beautiful things. Uh, the next person I want to talk about is Liv Ulven, who is also known as Woodlands Knits. Um, she has 13.1 thousand followers on Instagram and 17 designs. I would say her patterns are very rustic and very cozy. Um, I would say Albiona's photo, and I, a lot of the like kind of vibe that I get from these people is the photos that they share with their patterns, which makes sense because it's kind of how they tell their brand story. But Liv's photos are kind of a lot like Albiona's in that they're like a little bit darker and a little bit more. It's like the feeling of her designs is like that, like a wintertime dusk, like at four o'clock in the winter when the sun is starting to set and you need something comfortable and warm to like see you through the rest of your day's chores. I don't know. These are just like the stories that come to my mind when I look at her photos. Um, they're very, really beautiful. And like, again, that kind of like tough, but beautiful silhouette is what I'm getting from her. She uses a lot of rustic yarns. Um, my favorite design of hers is the Bjork top and she also has a raglan version of it as well. It's got this really interesting kind of like one by one color work. It's like a like a tooth comb kind of design um, but I think it's made with slip stitches so it's probably very beginner friendly. That's gorgeous. Um, the Takesti shawl just looks like the best super simple, super rhythmic knit that would just be a super cozy and warm and comfortable hug of, an, of a shawl to wear. And then her heritage sweater as well, which has this very like, again, like simple color work pattern that's very effective. And like, especially depending on what colors you choose, it can be very striking. Um, and it's knit in a chunkier weight, so it probably knit very quick and be good for the colder months. So I really like her design style as well. Um, okay, we're going through these pretty quickly. The next person to talk about is Orlan Souk, who's also known as Tetbesh Knitwear. She has 18.5 thousand followers on Instagram and 44 designs. Um, Orlan, I think, also reminds me of Albiona a lot. Is that I was, I was in that I was. She has a similar aesthetic of like these very tailored basics, um, with that have really like well thought out um, and well executed details on them that same kind of like cozy woodland vibe, um, very, but also sophisticated. I kind of like that, again, that like folk kind of feel to them. She has tons and tons of designs. Um, her Azor pullover is really beautiful. It's just like a simple color work yoke sweater. Um, and then she has many cardigans that I really like that are like simple but elevated, like the Fennel cardigan. And then the Protea top is really beautiful. Um, I really like, I mean, I like all of these people and I'm gonna say it again and again. Um, but I would say the person, if you wanted to see someone working up some of her pieces, um, Pearl Wise, I think her name is Claire from the Pearl Wise Knitting Podcast has made several patterns from Orlan Souk. I know she's made the Azor pullover. Um, so if you wanted to check out some of, her, of Orlan's work in action, check out Claire and I'll link everything down below so you know what I'm talking about and you can find everything. But her designs are lovely. Um, the next person I want to recommend you is kind of back onto the more like feminine, elevated, elegant design style and that's Trico Design MCL. 
She has 19.7 thousand followers on Instagram and 95 designs. She has a lot of sock patterns, but also lots of really beautiful garments um, that are just like very romantic and feminine and delicate. Um, she has this sweater called Milady that's very simple, but it just has this kind of like high collar and this cuffs that have this kind of frill detail that are just very, just like, it's not something you see very often. Um, she has another sweater called the Romance and then the Manuette that just have like really delicate necklines and delicate lace patterns. Um, she just has so many beautiful delicate details that I really enjoy and that I think are really interesting. Um, the next designer is Rachel Kurihara, who's also known as Rachel Knits Things. She has 21,000 followers on Instagram and nine designs. So definitely a smaller designer, but lots of really pretty elevated basics. I think her, I wrote this down in my notes, is that her um, patterns like look like the garments could be sold at Madewell. Like a very um, kind of timeless, very classic, very approachable. I really like her Riley tee, which is like a classic short sleeve tee with some interesting details on the sleeves and cool construction. And then her desert bloom top, I really like. And maybe I have some yarn that I could make that with. I think that would be really pretty. It's a wrap top with a lovely little ruffle at the bottom. That's a great idea. I think I have some, some yarn that I bought a couple months ago that I don't have a plan for. It could be really cute as a desert, desert bloom top. Um, so that's Rachel. The next person we're kind of getting now into some people you probably have heard about, heard of before. Um, the next one is Park Williams, who's also known as Park and Knit. She has 32,000 followers on Instagram and 30 designs. And I just think her patterns are like really fun and joyful. And she plays a lot with color and texture. Um, not as much like texture in the stitches, but texture in the yarn that she uses and some really cool constructions. Um, her Me Oh My tee is just like a classic t-shirt, but has... It just looks like very approachable and um, like you could knit it over and over in a million colors. And then her bold fold, which is I think a relatively new pattern of hers, is kind of an interesting take on like a summer top. It's like that muscle tee, but in a knitted fabric, it has like this drape and um, like the fabric behaves in a way that's really interesting. So I think she kind of, she her designs remind me a lot of someone like Jessie Maid or um, uh, James and Watts, that same kind of like a little bit whimsical element to her designs that I think are really cool. Uh, next up we have Fiber Tails, which you probably have heard of before, but I just really think that more people should be needing her patterns. She has 35.5 thousand followers and 30 designs. Um, her designs are really understated, but they're just so beautiful. They're very nature inspired. The inspiration is like direct translates very directly and it's very obvious they just feel like almost like they are organic is i think the word i'm f looking for they're just very organic the patterns and textures that she uses um i love her humlebee collection i've made her humlebee socks and i'll put a cutaway of them here so you can see and she also has the humlebee shawl that's just like a very clever detail she has lots of clever details in her patterns of how these things are constructed her woodlark shawl is just like a beautiful color work pattern and it's Super clever in that the construction is steeked so you don't have to knit the color work flat. Um, her VAR socks, again, she has quite a few sock patterns, but they're they're not like, this is what I always say is that like, I don't love to pay for a sock pattern, but I will pay for a fiber tail sock pattern because it's just like something that I couldn't figure out myself. There's always something in there that's just like, it's worth, she put work into it and it's definitely worth the money that you're paying for it. Um, just the way that she thinks through things really well and translate them translates them into fabric um, in such a realistic way I think is so cool so I love fiber tales she's wonderful she's a wonderful podcast here as well where she, she's lovely I want to be her best friend she's so cool and then the last person I want to talk to you about today is Stricke Kaffe. Her name is Tanya. She's a Norwegian designer with 53,000 followers on Instagram and 19 designs um, her aesthetic is very classic and clean and simple. It's like very Scandi, um, very similar, I would say, to Petite Knit, that just kind of like very well thought out and functional basics. Um, I've made her Korshavn sweater before, which is this super cool waffle texture. And she has a sweater version and a men's sweater and a vest and a balaclava and just like all these different um, pieces in the same cool textured stitch cool textured stitch which is actually really simple to knit but it's very visually effective 
Um, her compliment sweater, again, it's just like a plain striped sweater, but there's something about it that I just go back to all the time. I think it's so cool and interesting. Um, and the fit is just like, the way that it fits on her is really great. And then her rosette sweater is just like very delicate with simple cables and simple texture, but it's very effective. Again, she reminds me a lot of Petite Knit and her design aesthetic, so yeah. Um, keeping it short and sweet today, but just wanted to talk to you about some designers that I think should be getting more love. I'm definitely guilty of just knitting the same people and over and over again, and I'm trying to make a conscious effort, I think, in the next, in the new year, to knit for more from smaller designers and support a broader um, variety of people in the knitting community. So if you would like to also take that challenge on, this is a great place to start. Um, and look and see if there's just any more inspiration you can find out there because there are so many beautiful knitting patterns um, and so many people who deserve um, recognition for the great work that they do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned something new today. If you have any designers that I haven't mentioned that you would think I would like and check um, and would think I would like to check out, please leave them in the comments down below or it can be a resource for other people who watch this video as well. So. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you again soon.